Gary. Go get him, Gary. This is on that junior trolling fly, maybe a couple feet deep, not very deep at all. Pretty shallow. Oh, wow. Howdy guys, Cal Kellogg here. Welcome back to the channel. And if you like this content, please help me out. Take a second, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell notification, and that way you'll always know when I'm here on YouTube talking about trout fishing. I might be talking about trout fishing strategy, a trout fishing trip, or some experimentation I've been doing out on the water that's gonna help you and me catch more and bigger trout. And that's what we're gonna talk about today. I've been experimenting and I think I've come up with something really cool. Let me tell you a little bit about the guiding I've been doing. That fish you saw in the beginning of this video, that fish was caught on an orange fly in very shallow water. I've been running orange flies on my guide trips, black flies, and white flies, just like this fly right right there, white flies. Um, those have been my top offerings and I'm catching fish in a very specific zone of the water. I'm catching fish anywhere from about two feet deep down to about six, seven, maybe eight feet deep, right up near the surface. For those deeper fish, whoa, I almost dropped my rod. For those deeper fish, I am using my hybrid lead core rig. If you've watched the channel at all, you know all about this rig. Um, we've got braid on here, three colors, a 15 pound test lead core line, about a 50 foot top shot, followed up with about a 40 inch fluorocarbon leader. And you know, I can use this to get down anywhere from about six feet to 20 feet deep, no problem, works very well. And I have been catching some fish on that. Let me set this aside though. My number one rig has been a top lining rig, okay? I've been running one of my downrigger slash top lining rods if you don't have one of these rods, pick one up. They are dynamite rods. They are perfect for trout fishing. Anyway, I've been running these rods up top with the flies and to get that fly just below the surface, I've been running, let me get a hold of this little guy here. I've been running a little tiny trolling weight and uh, all my rods are set up the same way. I have my main line here. I have a bead, I have a trolling swivel, and then I have my leader. And I was putting this little sinker between the leader and that bead chain trolling swivel right there. That system was working really well. Just a quick aside about the spread I like to run when I'm out on the lake guiding. Usually run four rods, okay? I run three lead core rods this time of the year. We're in mid fall. We're gonna go into winter soon. The fish are up top. The most active trout are up near the top of the water column. So I'm running three lead core rods, okay? Starboard side of the boat, I'm running a rod at about six, seven feet. Mid boat, I'm running a rod at about 10 feet, two colors. Port side, I'm running a rod with three colors out, about 15 feet deep. On top of all that, I'm running one of my top lining rods and I'm scoping out all the way back anywhere from about 175 to 200 feet back. Lots of times that subsurface line catches the biggest fish of the day. And right now for the past week or so, it has been catching the lion's share of the fish that we're catching every day. Just, you know, so happens that the most active fish are cruising right under the chop and uh, they are nailing those flies. Hasn't been an easy bite, but uh, I've been doing pretty darn well pulling those flies up in the, the top parts of the water column, particularly right under the surface. So. I got to thinking, I said, you know what? I think I can improve on this rig. I think I can get rid of that sinker and I think I can make a more nimble uh, top lining rig, kind of a hybrid top lining rig. Just, you know, backstory. Usually when I've got this line above and behind all the other lines, I'm either pulling a fly, a soft plastic or a small spoon. A small spoon doesn't require any added weight. You could certainly add a little weight to it, but it'll run right under the surface by itself. Anything I'm running with the action disc, be it a fly or a soft plastic, I need to put a little weight on the line to get it underneath the surface to get it to, you know, get that disc to fill up with water to get it to work properly. So here's what I came up with this weekend when I was experimenting. I have one of my downrigger slash top lining rods right here, seven foot six, um, a fiberglass rod. I've got that topped with an Abu Garcia 
5,600 line counter reel. Now, in a perfect world, that reel would be filled up with 20 pound braided line, but I didn't have enough 20 pound braid. So I just grabbed one of my standard rigs. This reel is spooled up with 10 pound test trilene big game line in that, uh, that moss green, that greenish color that I like so much, okay? Now, on top of that trilene, I put on half a color, 15 feet of 12 pound test lead core line. That's that orange line you see right there. One color of lead core is 30 feet long and rule of thumb is if you're trolling two miles an hour, that's gonna get you down five feet. So I figure half a color, 15 feet of lead core, is gonna get me down two and a half feet, about 30 inches deep, which is right where I wanna be. So using a double uni knot, I attached that lead core to the end of that trilene big game line. Then on the business end, I put a short top shot on there. I put 12 feet of the 10 pound test trilene big game line on there. And then I brought it down through the bead to the trolling swivel. And then I attached my standard eight or 10 pound test fluorocarbon leader. And in this case, I have a white fly attached to it. Um, I'm very anxious to use this rig. I am gonna scope that out anywhere from 175 to 200 feet back. And I suspect that I'm gonna be running that fly or maybe a trout tricks worm if the bite changes a little bit, maybe a naked night crawler or one of my micro trigger spoons, something like that. I'm gonna be running that right under the surface. This is gonna be a seamless rig. I don't have to worry about those little sinkers anymore. Um, and I am very much looking forward to using it. Now, I'm going to play with this rig some more. First of all, we're going to see if it works like I think it's going to work. And then I do want to grab some 20 pound braid or maybe, you know, 25 pound braid, spool up a reel with that and use braid behind the um, lead core because I think that finer diameter braid, it's finer diameter than this 10 pound trilene big game line i think that's going to cut through the water just very nicely no stretch going to have a lot of fuel back there at 200 feet i think it's going to work very well but uh, as this is i think this is going to work very well i'll know soon i'm going back up to the lake going to do some guiding up there um i don't expect the bite has changed much um we have some clouds going through we have a little weather front coming through but i don't think it's going to change things very much at all and uh, i expect this rod to put some fish in the boat for my clients hopefully a big old rainbow or a big old lightning trout. Um, that's it for now. Just something to think about. If you want to go down in the garage and play with tackle, you want to set up something new, you want to get out there on the cutting edge of trout trolling, consider setting up one of these, these, I guess I'm going to call it the hybrid top lining rig. Take it out on the lake, play around with it and see what you think. It's a very nimble rig. You know me, I love that 5600 for top line and her downrigger fishing feels great in my hand. High speed reel, great drag. Enough said, it just flat out works. And uh, I think I've come up with something cool. You may disagree, you may agree. Set one up for yourself and see what you think. And you know, if you're looking for tackle or you wanna book a guided trip, get on over to fhsfishing.com. Find everything you need for going out on the water and chasing trout from rods and reels down to, you know, flies, spoons, and more. And you can check out my guiding calendar. I am out on the water almost every day these days putting people on big, beautiful trout. And uh, we are talking fishing all day long. I'm out of here for now. Thanks for all the support. I'm Kel Kellogg. You have a wonderful day.